Actually, my favourite medium to, to engage with the public is just like now, talking to somebody face to face. I've been doing outreach for, for probably 15 years, actually, since I started as, as an academic. And some of the most exciting and the most amazing things are when you're doing an experiment live. You know, perhaps you're showing the audience the, 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 the energy of burning phosphorus in an oxygen-rich atmosphere. And, and the best feeling is when you see the eyes of the front row open so wide that you can see all of their thoughts and all of those things processing across their brain. That's just amazing. You can't take that away. So one of my passions is actually to communicate to the public. And, and I give a series of lectures. You know when I get in a lecture theatre with about 300 people and I talk about science. But a key problem with that is that you can only talk to two or 300 people at a time. So with some of my colleagues at Nottingham, we've worked on a, on a really quite fantastic YouTube project called Periodic Table of Videos. And we've made videos about every element in the periodic table, lots of molecules, lots of things that are topical for, for, for public debate and discussion. And you know what? We make videos about the most esoteric molecule or the most esoteric element, and 30,000 people watch them in the time that I'm sleeping in one night. So I think it's really important uh, whenever you publish a paper that you take advantage of that opportunity to share your science more broadly with the public. Uh, that can mean posting your paper and the reference to it on Facebook or Twitter or other social media accounts. Um, get out there and talk about it and try to develop a message that tells a, a story that's accessible beyond just the narrow audience of your colleagues and friends within your field, but also uh, to, to the greater community. I have had lots of, of really positive experiences and probably one of the, the most positive I had was at the University of Virginia on their campus. They have a, an event called More Than the Score and it's on the morning of home football games. And they'll have a faculty member from UVA come and talk to uh, alums and others who come on the campus for the football game. And I had very low expectations for this event, presenting to a group of uh, individuals who were getting ready to go to a football game. Uh, but it was really uh, very engaging. Uh, the Q&A period went for about an hour. And uh, it was just a, a fantastic experience. And I think that uh, as scientists, chemists in my case, but scientists in general go out and engage the public, I, I think uh, you'll find it's a very rewarding experience to, to do so.